So the, 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 did you just to, to paraphrase lava Pardon. lamp? Pardon where's you. where's that whiskey? Oh. You didn't bring the bottle up? Oh, Austin. Yeah, no, we, we, hand, we handed it to Austin, the producer, so he can. Oh. He needs to pull it up on the okay. TV. Okay. Yep. So the we were talking about the lava lamp right now. And you said yeah, I'm the same thing. We but were. No, you said it looked like the last of Michelle Obama. It is working now. Look <laughs> at that. <laughs> <laughs> what I said. That that's the Why first ball that? I've seen it release. That's the former first lady of the United States of America. Why would I say that? Dude, you know what? Uh, I, don't I don't know. Right. I, you know, you, you didn't concerned. say it, I don't Michelle think. Michelle Obama can kiss my ass. <gasps> All right. Literally. And, well, here, here's here's my problem. Is they had abused Melani uh, brutally. Trump brutally. so bad. Brutally. And she was like graceful. She was. And compassionate. Elegant. Oh, she was everything. She was the package. And they did nothing but belittle her. And, 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 and if there's anything. Oh, I- Ivana? Ivana. Oh, okay. no, uh, no, 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 no. I, no. I, I thought you said Rwanda. No, I was Melania. Say, uh, as in the country Melania. of Rwanda. Rwanda, 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 yes. No, that's where <laughs> Black, but, Panther. You know, but that's, that's, Black Panther. But that actually is a really good good point you make there, Sean, because you know, we talk about liberals, conservatives, and we've talked about how liberals can be ugly and hypocritical and ideo- ide- ideologues, mm-hmm. right? Jackass. But when it, comes to, when it comes to the way they treated <laughs> Melania, there's no reason for that. It, no, she was, was non. She was non-political. She's non-political, no threat at all, and they were just sheer hate and ugly and so much. And that shows you that the total lens of the liberal mindset. It, it doesn't matter. Even on the the late night talk shows where they're they're mocking her her uh, accent. Her accent. It's like motherfucker. That's so, that's she so speaks racist. six languages, including English. Oh, fucker. It's insane. You know, and they're just like they're. And she's talking to some uh, kindergarten students, and like, oh, and the the child picks up the apple and carries it over to the porch, was and it, they're and they're and they're hold on, making was it Melania Trump or was it Melania was was what? But point is, they're just mocking her. It's just so uncool. It is very uncool. It made it made me so mad. You and step then, into the room, and then you get in the shower, and we will insert the gas. I mean, and then it gets even it, it, it gets even worse than that because the tradition because that there's a, there's a whole segment of the of the media industry that's, that's the way they're they're like we're <laughs> they, it. they they get into they get into <laughs> commenting on like the style of the first lady right. and and the, and the clothes and the and the and it's crazy how they decorate the White House how they decorate during Christmas it's it's March 29th uh, this is they the did. second half of uh, dudes like us I'm Sean I'm Paul I'm Jeff and Rob we have a special guest Mr. Yeah, he already Senior jumped Rob. into it. Yeah, he fucking like, did. He was ready to roll. You're a regular. Well, you're a regular uh, guest you were, speaker, Rob. There you oh, go. You were a ball swinging, ready to roll, man. Yeah. I remember when uh, she redid the Rose Garden, and they were just all up in arms. Right. <laughs> There's no reason for it. No. no. But, and, and then we have Michelle the, Obama the taking China. away all the food from the kids in the school. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. In the school. No more pizza for you. No more ketchup. <laughs> no <laughs> soup for you. She's, oh, Japanese. Oh, she's Japanese. <laughs> She what did she do? What did she do? She Nazi. took all the uh, the things that were considered unhealthy. No, she tried to make school lunches healthy, which basically just ruined. That's a them. noble idea. Yeah, but it is noble. But it it's is a not noble realistic. idea. It didn't I, work. I don't want to be like a right. liberal where I'm blinded by hate. That's no. a liberal. It, it didn't work. So now they, it didn't the, work. Now the kids can't come to school and eat the eight thousand calorie cinnamon bun roll that they, they used to be able to get, which they kind of need. I freaking love that cinnamon. I mean, roll. these kids are growing. They need they need fucking calories. Yeah. Then, you, then, then there's the whole there was a whole industry. Of, of these kids taking pictures of their lunches, and they were bad looking. Yeah, it was like, you mean uh, it was like a, the they, more healthy lunches. No, uh, I don't know if they were. It's a compilation. It was like, of it like, was like a wiener corn, and a little <laughs> thing of chili. <laughs> so it's like it, it, corn in other cubed. Words, uh, it's cubed carrots, corn, and lima right. beans and you know, mix. And you know, Rob, this is like a perfect example of you know how when they have legislation that that they mean well, right? Supposedly they yeah. mean well, and then when it's implemented, it goes bad. Right, it has unintended consequences. They dump the Look at that. They, they dump the main people that 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 can can provide no. very solid meals. Look up, that's, look at Michelle so Obama that's lunches. That's kind of a scary look there. The, the lunch. No, those yeah. are, those look you good. Know, I, Michelle I, I Obama say, school lunches. I would say my school lunch experience was good. I I kind of like I like the pizza subs Absolutely. and uh, the peanut butter 
uh, cookies, whatever those were. And, uh, <laughs> I loved uh, school lunches. You can, look at that. It's a wiener, <laughs> no, apple, and one tomato. Now that, yeah, one, that can't be. <laughs> that one doesn't lo- does not look as appetizing. Okay, no, so, they ate the bread or something. What is that next to the wiener? Uh, That's ketchup. Those balls. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Now, ketchup, That's one ball. Look ketchup that. is a vegetable, a right? Bread stick is tomato, right? Uh, it's just for real. This, this guy uh, well, is holding yes. a tortilla the, with the, cheese the reality out. Of the, this isn't the Hungry Man TV dinner that you used to get. This is like some sort of uh, cheap version of the calendars or the Stouffer's. There, there she it's is. nasty. There she is. Well, I guess we, we've probably been away from the school lunch program for oh, quite yeah. a while. So Yeah, we have. Maybe we cannot competently we comment. Uh, yeah. comment so, so hold on. on it, so, Sean, you just said something about TV dinners. So, did you yeah, guys grow up? That. TV dinners are different. Yeah, yeah. Well, did you guys grow up yeah, eating TV dinners? Yeah, but it's essentially the same. Yes, I did. Now, yeah. was it was it like a regular thing, no. or was it like... It was like a treat. A treat. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely a treat. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm wow. glad you said that, because that's what it was for us. When I, my, my I, mom, I guess, dad, I guess just because mom wasn't cooking. Exactly. You know, mom didn't want to That's what cook. it was. Not because it was cook, better, so, but uh, as 100%. A, as an alternative, they gave mom uh, Alzheimer's because of the ammonia, uh, the aluminum <laughs> phosphates. Yeah, the aluminum right. and everything. Off, yeah, right. The off-gassing right. of these TV dinners. But I, but I tell you, when mom said she wasn't cooking this TV dinner night, we we went ape shit. It was yeah. awesome. So we were I, I didn't think it was So there awesome. we were. There we were in the frozen food section, right? Actually, I like and the mashed potatoes. There's like a, there like a thousand TV it was, dinner it was, choices. It was Salisbury steak for me. Yeah, and they had like the the little dessert thing. It was way too. Pathetic. It was, wasn't enough. Wait, way too exactly. small. Well, that's yeah. it's funny you say it's that. It's like a because, Yeah, but it's like lava. But here, so here's the thing. I'm the youngest <laughs> of four. I'm the youngest of four, and I remember my oldest two. You know, my my br- oldest uh, siblings would get the hearty. Hardy man or hardy hungry, hungry man. man, hungry man, <laughs> hungry man, and I was like, I was like, I was like, mom, I want the hungry man. Oh, you can't eat all that. You can't eat all that. And I was like, I'm ready, dad. I'm ready, mom, for the hungry man. And I finally, I got the hung- I mean, it was like a thing. Like when was that? When you were 16? Well, I was actually 19. <laughs> Although but, I, but, I, you know, Rob, last night. but Rob, don't be a dick about it. Okay? I remember. I You're remember, a guest speaker, well, damn it! I remember getting the. Fr- <laughs> <laughs> I remember getting the fried chicken once because it looked like a lot of food, oh, but yeah, the, the chicken, the, fried, the, the but Swanson the, TV dinner, but the chicken, fried chicken had like an ounce of meat on it. It was all oh, bone yeah. oh, and yeah. the skin. Oh yeah, it's horrible. Yeah, it was but like the chicken nugget it. before it came a but nugget. But did we ever complain? It was awesome. No, well, we t- ate it. Tyson had had first dibs on the chicken, probably right. The, uh, well, that well, was the chicken they put in. That was probably the birth of Tyson. <laughs> and I also remember, I also remember the, the TV dinners was a special when we had that. But also, 1950s even. <laughs> we were. My mom loved uh, uh, fried chicken. And yeah. we couldn't afford to go out and buy fried chicken. So she'd buy the box of banquet frozen fried chicken. There you go. Did you ever have that? In a can? <laughs> no, it wasn't in a can. The it box, was in a box in a can. <laughs> it was in a box. Hey, it, was like, it was like a little spam can. You, you, must, you must have gotten less than that even. The yeah, leftovers. So the, the, the banquet. leftovers of the box. Yeah, so yeah, it was uh, it was a box of eight pieces. And they were really small. <laughs> and, he just uh, shared that along with a liter of Coke. Wait, yeah. Was that in the store, like the frozen Yeah, section, it was a, you can still buy it today. The liter came can? You can still buy it today. Bank well, that's what it's the, the same one, earlier, probably, in, uh, from way back the then. podcast, yeah. he yeah, had that's, mentioned that that's, that's, one of the treats that Jeff got as, as a kid growing up is that his dad would come home with a liter of pop. Yeah. Well, regardless whether it was a cola, Sprite, or Seven Up, or very nice liter Pepsi or free. two liter. It was a two liter. So always. Oh, okay. I was going to say that's, that's what I was going to say. Pepsi that's free. a little bit better. So yeah. liter didn't come out till way later. It was always two liter. It's two liter, right? And then they yeah. came out with the one liter, right? But but did, did he well, come they home with a the better off-brand? denomination to was mix it like, the bourbon? Was it like Doctor K? No, it was uh, like it was Pepsi free. They don't even make it anymore. It had the lemon oh, flavor to it. You talked about this, yeah. so that was your favorite, and you brought it every time. Like Seven he Up, it, he got it a lot. No, it was Pepsi. What had lemon flavor to it? And it was oh, diet, wow. I think. So it's called Pepsi free. Yeah, a little bl- remember the black the guy in the commercial? <laughs> oh yeah, no. lemon. That was yeah. from Seven Up or Sprite. Oh, just roll with it. I have that a sprite. That's fantastic. We also, yeah, I also, cool must have got that. I also yeah. grew up on powdered yeah. milk. Shut the fuck up! Wow, <laughs> there it is. Oh, so, that's that's there unusual. There it is. Yeah, that, that could explain a powdered lot of things. Milk. You powdered, grew up on powdered milk. Powdered milk. You do you mention that before? What a M- mix what a with water lifestyle. Mm-hmm. I didn't know any, it was all right. I didn't know any better. We had these things. We'd make our milk. We'd put it in the fridge. It was I'm cold. sorry. What was that? 
You, no, you no, would dude, shake it open. Open the whole hand gestures. No, 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 no. That's, that's exactly cool. why we don't have video in that, that's this That's where you Jeff get said, <laughs> Jeff said, you mix it up, you, you, you get your milk, you know. <laughs> that's, 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 that's where you get all the wrist action from, wrist I guess, action, huh? Right. The, the dry milk. And that's we, how always, the we always had cold milk. You could buy a box of it for, I don't, I don't know how much it was. but That's still around today, the dry milk, It is. The dry milk is still around. We even looked up how they make powdered milk, and they literally, it's deep, it's it's milk like that. Milk solids, fats. And they evaporate the water, and they powderize it, and they put it into a all you're, all you're doing can. is adding the water back to it. Yeah, but right. it's, it's not it's not uh, it's not cow milk. It's 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 rat. <laughs> no, it is not. Yeah. Snake. It's oh, rat milk. Oh, snake, milk. It's snake milk. Snake milk. Yeah. Snake <laughs> milk. Oh, it's they got they got all these uh, uh, little suction milk. cups. I'm not sure I'd want to milk the snake. Yanking but, um, the teeth <laughs> on his mouth. <laughs> milk <laughs> the snake. <laughs> little tiny teeth. <laughs> <laughs> it's like what is that? What is that show? Is it uh, Meet the Fockers? <laughs> Meet he's the like fuck- he, he talks about how he's milking the cat. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, oh, that yeah. movie was so uncomfortable. The, the kitten, I think, actually. Yeah. But uh, the first know, that, time, the first time I watched, because that's actually the the one of the last moments I could really appreciate Robert De Niro. De Niro. Yes. Right yeah. Yeah. before yeah. he he stepped over into the the dish the, 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 the danger zone. The, now, the, the he's liberal been, He's been fairly quiet. Well, that's because well, Trump's like, not in place. He has nothing to bitch about. To him, huh? I guess so. Yeah, but, but man, when he would go on CNN, I mean, why would why why would an actor be brought on to because, CNN for a political uh, because uh, commentary? They, they panel? live in a different. Uh, it, it's Such a different world. Bullshit. They, they're in a different right. classification. It's like they and you mentioned it before in a, in a prior uh, podcast where these actors, actresses, they. They they think they're actually part of that. Like, I did you already drink yours? Did you just? You know, yeah, I, I, I gave him so. a soft it's pour. Empty. I, well, hold on. I gave him a soft pour because his glass was not emptied after the first uh, first podcast. It wasn't empty, and so you it's kind of like an infinity bottle. So normally, so, so normally, what we do when we we're doing the intermission to clear our palates and to cl- make sure there's no blending of bourbons. We dump we have out some salty popcorn. Well, well, Extremely we also clean salty. out. We also finish and clean out the glass. I think my heart's going to okay. explode. Right that way, and there's no ice in there. No, there's ice or? in here. Yeah. Okay. So you want to grab a couple cubes, Mr. Producer? You have. Oh, I have some already. You is have that the, enough? You have the bourbon, right? Oh, the ice is enough. Yeah, but I can't right. drink right. ice. Rob, well, really, you want, bourbon uh, Jeff, you behind. want to turn around and grab that, or okay, Rob, Rob, and I don't, I don't mind talking about it. You want Rob's to... kind of a novice here with the the dudes like us, so that's he's a, not sure a hearty, how this works. So. Yeah, right. Not not to whiskey, but uh, to dudes like us, somewhat. So, Th- this is the River Set Straight Rye Whiskey. All right, that's what. Okay, this is the second half podcast, and and Rob was. Jangling his glass because he's very jingle, upset jingle. that it's empty. Yeah, right. kind of like the, so ca- we're the cartoon into Archer. It now. Uh, well, we'd already had some, and it's empty now. Oh, so, oh, so look at you going for that. So I was looking for some more, He's going for we, his which third we board. have yeah, because here. it's a fairly so that, weak. Good. It's a fairly weak bourbon. Negative. No, good yeah, it's 117 no. proof. Fairly no. weak. No. Right. Fairly weak. Yeah, I it's, mean, it's bottle number thirty. It says, as evidence of, of this uh, whole podcast, I think we're all talking at the same time. Uh, we need to slow down. We're all kind of yes, schnook, schnooker. We're getting toasty. All right, we need to slow the podcast down. We're not going to talk over each other. Shut up. And it's already happening. <laughs> Sean just jammed eight pounds of ice into his. Yeah, what's the point of that? Yeah, how are you going to drink that? It's like up your nose. It's going to drip everywhere. Yeah. That's... Well, we want we want to give uh, God. We want to give props to this river set, right? I think Dude, all of us like it. I just Generally? freaking okay. Yes, uh, let's talk about this. Did bourbon. you see that? I, I did. It's I just a rye Chris, I just Chris rocked that. Yeah. Nice. No, you will. No, you Smith will it. Smith it. Oh well. You build it, Bill Smith. Anyway, go ahead. What's now, this on? this is uh, it says crafted in Memphis. Okay. Thank very God nice. for Memphis. Where's it distilled? And uh, five years aged. Hundred and seventeen point six percent proof, and bottle number thirty. Uh, so River Set Straight better. Rye Whiskey. So we it's need, not, it's not like, the multiple uh, grain like the you last. You know what we need? Four. We need like some sort of bourbon. We need to come up with some bourbon background music. Whenever we're doing the bourbon, it needs to be like some standardized music in the background. Like, that, that would be that would be a little bit too much for the no. producer, I think. Right? To, no, uh, he can handle it. He's he already can asleep. He can handle he can it. Handle you handle think it. he's it's he's, way, it's way he's multitasking the fuck back there. He's he's doing homework. He's watching movies. Well, what and what kind of music? And everything. But anyway, that's it's a very good. 
Look, very good whiskey, like, I think. A little Yellowstone track so, playing in the background. So this is distilled in Tennessee. So I wonder if this is Dickel. Because <laughs> Dickel is a big uh, supplier. You, you think of, it's part of Dickel? <laughs> yeah, Dickel is a big supplier of bourbon. Uh, they they don't distill their stuff. So I wonder if this is Dickel. I love I love the Dickel <clears throat> family of uh, well, of bourbons. I think they're all great. It says B R Distilling Company. Eight year, down thirteen year, fifteen year. All good. B R does not. There's no D in that. I don't think except for, except for distilling company. Well, but uh, we, is... we we could maybe look that up online and see. But it is it is quite good, you whether it's from Dickel or how, not. How right? many, Jeff? How many? The oldest licensed distillery in Memphis. How many? Br which, distillery. Which one? Oh yeah. Okay. Older than Dickel. In even? Memphis. No, no. It's just in Memphis. Oh, in Memphis. They so make they make the Blue Note. That's who it is. Blue Note. Yeah, they that's make Blue good. Note. Oh, we we tried the Blue Note. That's good stuff. So it's Blue Note, and actually, it's the same company that does. Uh, uh, Blue Note, so uh, there you go. There you so go. it's a good company, apparently. It it's, is, yeah. Blue Note's good. We like Blue it Note so far. Good. Okay. Yeah, we do. All right, so it's... I was going to ask you, Jeff, because you have a, you have a greater, much better memory than I do. All right, so of a family of bourbons, where there are a number of them, right, within the same family. Dickel's got the <laughs> Dickel's got the eight year, the thirteen year, the fifteen year, and then they have. You know, the ones that I always joke about. Oh, that's 12-year. Dickel 12. <laughs> it's recipe 12 or something. Recipe 12. <laughs> yeah. And I always say it's 12-year. Right. So they have, uh, they have like five or six bourbons in their in their family, and they're all correct. great. Correct. Repertoire. Correct. Yeah, so what, what what's another one that has such a broad... Well, Wild Turkey does. Okay, so they well, got Rare Breed. Uh, they got 101. Has a, has a boatload of different yeah, ones. Yeah, Balconis does. So Wild Turkey, you've got Wild Turkey 101, Wild Turkey 80. You got the rare breed. You got the Kentucky Spirit. Mm. Then you have Russells. What about Kentucky Deluxe? I don't think that's part of. Uh, how about Turkey. how about Kentucky Gentleman? Then you have the Russells on top of that. Then you have oh. the one that we have out here, Long Dick. Correct. Dong. I think it is called Long Dick. Long Dick Dong. Um, <laughs> the one that uh, Matthew McConaughey Isn't that from that movie. Hey now, hey Long now. Dick Dong. Long Branch. It's called Long Branch. There that's also a wild turkey. <laughs> I'm now thinking of the movie from the 80s, Long Dick Dong. Long Dick Dong. Oh, was that his name? The dong. The dong Long need, Dick Dong. The no, dong when he goes, sleep. he's like, uh, Big Crash. Uh, what? Oh, Big oh. Crash. Oh, is this like 16 Candles? Yes. The dong need food. No more Yankee me wiggy. Is <laughs> yeah, that what he, he falls said? out of the tree? Yeah. He's yes. the exchange student. Yeah, he's from Molly he's Wingwald. Asian, uh, was it his girlfriend like Molly riding Wingwald an exercise bike? An oh, yeah, she's like, huge. She's like Helga. Helga. Yeah. You guys watch 16 Candles, oh, right? Yeah. Dongo needs food. Yes. His, his name is Dongo. Yeah, and he's like, he's as drunk as a skunk. And he was like... <laughs> like the grandpa was saying Yes, that. yes. Commented on her boobs. Anywho. So the okay. the, the blue note right. I had heard someone talk about. Uh, do we have... You yes, we have You talked about it. We did. They, they make a 17-year. Wow. What? They make a 17-year, but it's... That's got to be a unicorn. It's expensive as well. So you have not purchased it? No, not the 17 show. years. Even, so even with years? our supporters what? and such, you haven't oh. have not uh, supported. Yeah, with all what, of our what sponsors. Are, what are some, some unicorns? Uh, the 17 year would definitely be one. What are some other ones that are, I'm going to use the words that's an oxymoron, that are common, are common unicorns? So what is a common unicorn? Right. Well, Blanton's is probably at everyone's top of mind, right? But, you know, we don't have one of those. I'd like to have one, but, uh, Paul, you've had it. You said it was just kind of, eh, we well, have better. Well, I mean, it, it you know, it, it's so hyped, right? It's so hyped right. that when you drink it, you're like, you're supposed to cry. Right. Or shit yourself or something. I don't know what you're supposed you're to do. You're just like, yeah, good lord. I have a bourbon just as good as this. Hold on, in my cabinet. I yeah. You shit yourself. I was. I, we, you know, you're supposed to have an emotional reaction, but well, I'm yeah, like, but um, maybe get weepy. Uh, I would like poop. It's like most sexual experiences. <laughs> yeah, you're but, supposed okay. to. Well, I'm not gonna say it. Okay. I would. I would have said it before, but Wait. no, you're not supposed <laughs> to have a sexual experience when you drink it. You haven't had enough yet. Okay. Well, you're supposed to shit yourself, according to Paul. Well, I'm just saying, there's some reaction. Right. Anyway, but you know, it was. Uh, it was good. Don't I'm, don't I'm get never, me wrong. Don't get, I, I don't want to be a, a hater, but it, I, well, we, here locally, uh, another one. I'm that, sorry, we've had a, over 140 bourbons now, yeah. and I can promise you, there have been several that have been as good, many that have been better. Right. Uh, that's what I've heard. That's saying something. That's what, that's, that's what I heard. That you know, Blanton's everybody wants, but it's 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 there, overrated. There's, there's better things for half the price. So yeah, it's overrated. 
Um, I think another one is Paul had the opportunity to buy three bottles. Uh, <laughs> Colonel Taylor, right? Oh, okay. You son of a bitch. That's the story Ta- we'll never know. Taylor three Sanders? Bottles. Yeah. Colonel, uh, is it... Uh, I, I can't know. remember. There's something. You, you lost a lot of points that weekend. <laughs> not not yeah. Colonel okay. Sanders, Time hopefully. Out. But uh... Ew, I was in a rush scenario. I'm Colonel in a Taylor. tiny little. I'm in Montrose, Colorado. Here come the I'm excuses. In a little, I'm in a little... Instead of accepting Time responsibility, out. I have the floor, sir. And it's... I, <laughs> I'm in this little yeah, tiny. Excuse me, ma'am. It, yeah, the, the I'm in this man. little tiny uh, alcohol store. I'm texting you guys like crazy. Uh, I'm like, is this is good? Is this good? Is that good? No one's answering me. So, you know, I go ahead and make my purchase and leave. Come to find out. Yeah, she was telling me, I got three bottles of this. It's only 40 bucks a piece. And then I find out it's like a major unicorn. It is, especially around here. It may not be in some spots. I think it's hard to get everywhere. It's really yeah, hard to get 40 here. 40 bucks? It's really hard to you get here. You should have bought all three, man. I well, mean, Henry McKenna, 10 years, 40 bucks. Well, you got, you got three true. of them, you said, right? And I got one of those now. You spent 100 bucks on that thing. No, I didn't. I sold it for ten thousand. Ten thousand. I bought it. For uh, ten thousand. The one. On the, <laughs> I bet you did. The one on the left there. From you. The one on the no. left there is obviously we'll never have that. Pappy's, Pappy Van Winkle. I don't, I'm not spending fifteen hundred, four thousand dollars on a bottle of bourbon. I'm sorry. Well, so, so hold on. There's multiple levels of uh, of Van Winkle because I was in the checkout line with, at Total Wine. A guy was buying Pappy's Van Winkle, so he, there's no way he was spending fifteen hundred bucks. He could have been. No. Why? I disagree. No, they have a they have Pappy that's like eight year. Exactly. That's the they have the, it's still the expensive. economical version. It may be eight hundred bucks. No, they have very economical Pappy Van Winkle. No, they don't. No, they don't. When, no, when, they I don't. Say, when I say economical, I'm saying l- less, a hundred and thirty or less. No, I disagree with you that. You disagree? Okay, we have to yeah. do some research on I that. I disagree with that. Okay. Because I well, there was a rye. There was a uh, a Van Winkle. I've rye. never seen Pappy's at Total Wine ever. No, but I was at Specs in Cold Station, and I took a picture of it and I showed it to you. That was not Pappy's. Uh-huh. So they yeah, have a Pappy Van Winkle's Family Reserve, twenty three year old. Uh, that's a hundred bucks. Well, yeah. Okay, twenty three year old. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. That is the no, no. It says Pappy Van Winkle's Family Reserve. Twenty three euros, twenty dollars on sale. That that's is got to be a joke. Whoa. That's not real. Twenty dollars. That's not real. Yeah, that's not real. That's a joke. That's it not might real. Be, uh, unless it's coming from Ukraine or something. No. Oh, also, wow. what I also what I Rob. heard. Also, what Harsh. I heard is when you see <laughs> that one for fourteen hundred bucks. <laughs> that's the twelve year. <laughs> They're dumping their stuff, huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. God. No, th- those are Lowest not r- those are not real. That's a bu- Buffalo Trace is one of those that has a shitload of of uh, whiskeys. Oh, like a family of them. Well, Pappy Van Winkle is Buffalo Trace, right? You, you know, know all this stuff, or vice versa. Uh, he no, must, he must read. You know, there was a. I do, I do read. There yeah. was a there was an article about all the uh, related <clears throat> bourbon deaths, just deaths in general when it comes to drinking and driving. You know, can you imagine? You know, just. I started thinking about when, when this when I was going through the article, I was thinking like about you know death and uh, and all the horrible ways to die. And um, I was thinking, um, so I, I don't know. I mean, I was just thinking cremated uh, in the grave, and, and I just kind of that, that to me is a more interesting cremation or yeah, buried that, that whole seems, yeah. or buried in parts. Well, you you well, mentioned that. Well, well, the thing is, you're already dead, right? It's a, it's not to die. Well, you're not cremated to death, are you? Uh, unless you're in World well, War Two. Well, hold on. Uh, Let me ask you guys. Nazi Germany. You know how these guys. You know how these people have these stories where they want to be cremated and they want their ashes spread over. Yeah, some o- over the mountains. I, right. I, I want you to uh, mix my ashes with some chili and put it in the next thing of uh, some chili beans, and I want that way I can hurt my boyfriend one last time. Wow. One of those things. You wow. heard that one? No, no, no. 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 Mix it with some cayenne pepper, my ashes, Your and put ashes. it in the chili. That way I can hurt my boyfriend's butt one more time. What or the, or whatever. Well, the flavoring might not well, be bad. But? That, that, that could be yeah, possible. The farts. But, uh, Would yeah, you guys ever ahead. consider that, though? Having your ashes being, being uh, scattered across something? I have it scattered across Frisco. 
Or would you, or would you prefer over, being buried uh, over total wine? Over total wine. <laughs> well, look, that, that brings up. <laughs> you're on the front. You're on the front. You're just like stranded everywhere. What are you uh, doing? This is my friend. He died. Uh, <laughs> uh, back to the bourbon aisle. <laughs> that was so gross. But you I throw mean, it up in their big but ass it's fan. A, it's a real thing. So when you when you when you pass, I mean, you've got to make that decision. I think yeah, that's that, also illegal. Well, 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 is, well, you, ha- you have is. to make it before you pass, hopefully. Hold on, yeah. what? What's illegal? That, uh, Spreading your ashes. Yeah, that's a biohazard. Yeah, it's a biohazard. <laughs> you, you like get... anywhere? I believe so. Uh, like over a lake or over a mountain? I, I don't think you're supposed to do it, no. Well, you, you don't notify it. Yeah, you don't, uh, you don't call it in and say, yeah, can, I, it, yeah so. can I get a... Uh, Registration to spread. Yeah, I, I want to get a permit to spread my dad's ashes. I, I, I be don't know like, if there is such a thing. That's not going to happen. So you just. Do I guess it. I've never thought about it. You just do it. Well, that's well, what I'm I, saying. You know, how do you want to do it? Do you want to be cremated or do you want to go into a coffin and be buried? No, cremated, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah really I don't need anyone right? to to spend money on the ground you, you for me to rot. You can have one of those ninja things do that to you. <laughs> yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, food processor? <laughs> what Maybe. shows are you oh. watching? Soil like, green. Thing? Just, <laughs> get get oh, you get you to down people. to a few cups. Soil and green, you know? yes. Yeah. Wow. Right. How Charl- about a vacuum Charlton pack? Heston. Right? Oh, wow. Well, you know, we, we kind of got into this, the cryogenics, right? And you said you wanted to be next to Ted Williams' head or something like that. <laughs> But that never <laughs> came out of my mouth. Something we were talking, and somebody Thanks wanted to be. Oh, yeah, but his head ne- ne- yours. next to his bat, maybe. Yeah. His, his big well, bat. Well, Ted Williams, his head is frozen. You know that, right? I've heard that. Yeah, he, his, uh, I don't know where it is, but it's um, in some cryogenics lab it's in Fort Knox. It's in my freezer. Well, along with Michael Jackson, right? Michael Jackson is, is he uh, cryogenic as well? Preserved, I think. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I doubt it. Yeah, that, I don't that, think that's what any. he said. Who knows? And, uh, he had so much money. He probably had all these uh, safeguards set up. Unless his body was. Is uh, he really dead? Like Elvis? Is he wow. really dead? You talking about Michael Jackson? Yeah. Right. No, he's dead. He's you know dead. how in, in Egypt, when the, the Pharaoh died, dead? when the Pharaoh died, everybody had to be buried with him. Like they killed all the servants. They killed all the people that were in his circle. That's a and tough And they way buried to go. him with him because but, they uh, needed the Pharaoh needed all those people in the afterlife. So do you, you think kind of Michael Jackson out. needed all the kids, or not the kids, but the uh, chimpanzees? Is is a bunch of small children and oh. well, well, no, what not. Was, I wasn't going to say kids. I was, no, but what was, you was did? You did. You Freudian Fantasy said Fantasyland well, no, or something? I, I mean, Neverland. Never Neverland. Neverland. Never all, all the Neverland people there. <laughs> Maybe go yeah, I, 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 I want to be cremated. <laughs> I don't think this is... When, when you it, brought that we're going to bury Michael Jackson. Let's put a bunch of kids in there and make it feel comfortable <laughs> it dies. In, in the afterlife. <laughs> oh, 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 God. Jeez. Yeah. Uh, there, there's guy. no temple, Just give him a bunch think, of right? assholes he can stare down into. You need to watch that, that show. You need to watch that movie, show. <laughs> this got really dark in a hurry. Uh, yeah. yeah. So yeah, cremated we, we, we for We better me. change the subject. Yeah, to a speaker uh, of the speaker of the house, maybe or yeah. You know, we'll we'll clone yeah. Webster and put him in Michael Jackson's tomb. What else did you have on your topic list? Because there was one other one that was very interesting. I, I might have taken your topic list. Is is it what you wrote? Is this what you wrote out? No, oh, no, no. Did you do your oh, typical okay. significant? <laughs> so sig- I better keep this to myself here. This list. Oh, don't look at that list. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, don't, yeah. You don't publicize death? it. Did you do that one? Well, the only one that is recent is William Hurt. Oh yeah, that was a big uh, one. Off the Elephant Man fame, or? who's, who's William no? Hurt? That's uh, that's a different Hurt. Uh, right. William Hurt was in he was in some movies, Body Heat, a uh, highly sexualized movie. Oh yeah, with, that uh, was you would recognize him in a hurry if the producer had his face yeah. up there. Uh, William who, Hurt, who's the actress. I'm trying to. Remember. He was in Altered States, I believe. <laughs> he was in movies, right? So, okay. Oh, uh, William Hurt. What, is what like, about him? He just died. Yeah, massively. He did. I didn't hear well that. Well known. Yeah, yeah, he did. That's too bad. He may, have, he may have been. Did in, he play uh, Dumb and Dumber? I don't know. He may have been in a Marvel movie no, as well. No, oh no, he, that's not him. <laughs> that looks like another guy. Yeah, was he in a Marvel movie? Oh, look at that! <laughs> <laughs> what is Please that? <laughs> get rid of that's that. Sing Please. two or Sing three uh, or Sing four or something. I don't know. Let's see, well, he was in network or broadcast or whatever. He's in Beowulf. And... Well, I could read that. Hold on. Boy, yeah. he. Well, he's a very popular if, uh, actor. You guys should know who he is, right? William Hurt. He, he looks like somebody else, though. But uh, oh, no. I, I've I heard know. of him. Okay. Anyway, so he passed. And that's uh, all I got as far as dead people. Really? That's no, it. That, did, that's did a pretty get, light. Did he get cremated l- or anything? Or 
what uh, they what chopped them well, up. Well, how about all do? those people dying from in Ukraine from uh, some starvation War and dying and of thirst and dying from javelins being what blasted in their face? What do you yeah. guys? What do you guys think of the whole um, people going back to Ukraine to fight? At, at a like certain Ukrainians, point, Ukrainians. I, I, think, I think that's Dude, good. Look, it's amazing. Yeah. I find that am- just, amazing. Just go back. It, oh, look, hopefully, man, Americans. When you got will nothing else thing, to lose, man. then right? I'll, 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 I'll tell you what, man. If someone invaded our city, and uh, I was to uh, successfully get my kids out, my my, my get my kids out, my You'd wife, go uh, I'd go back and I'd defend it. Especially I'd defend my had, house. Especially and you're saying, so you're, and so you're high saying, level weapons. Right. They have high level weapons from uh from US. the US. Big time. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah, the US trained like them and everything. But look, too, yeah. here, here's the thing. It it doesn't matter. I mean You gotta fight for your country. No, it does okay. That's true. And it's it's admirable, but it, it won't matter because Putin has I mean, he's sending in his his C team, his B team. He hasn't even sent in his A team yet. You don't think? So what I've heard, no. what I've heard is 75. Why, now, why would he send in the lesser ones to look? Well, because he was thinking he was he's got a bunch of out, he's got a bunch of super old uh, tanks, uh, super old equipment that he's bringing in there from the fucking 70s, 80s, so he 90s. So send him in there to get stuck in the mud. And he's like, and he's like, man, just and... you know, look, 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 we've got all the shit. Let's just send that sh- in there first. And then we'll, we'll, we'll wait and see what's going on. He's got all kinds of different types of bombs that he could do. But it, it this is not a smart war. I mean, no. look, if he were to do it differently, uh, there's different ways to be able to conquer a city. You know, it's retarded. Frankly, it's it's all it's retarded. It has been very eye opening from the from the uh, like American military brass from a right. They're yes. all chiming in. They're all chiming in on strategically. Oh, they say, like, yeah. oh yeah, they're they're looking at the how, capability. Uh, they're, they're looking not at doing well how and all effective that. they've been. Their strategy, and they're like making comments left and right. Like, well, I, these I just, guys were way overestimated, it, and that's my point. Way is that overestimated it, which, in their ability. Which, which guys? The Russians the or Russians. the American and, commentators? And if the Russians are supposed to be well, that, the that's top what they're notch, putting out there, yeah, that's what they're putting out there. If they're supposed to be a top notch army, and they're not, and they're not that's at got, all. That that reminds me of what we got going on. Right here at home. I hope not. You know, it, but I think it's the reality because we're, yeah, we're, we're. But here's the thing: we, we've army. got we've military got is getting woke. That are breaking the law. Agreed. We got we got people that are doing all kinds of things wrong that are never held accountable. And yep. it's 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 a microcosm of. Now, do you mean the in meltdown. the military or in like just in, FBI, in FBI, Department uh, I'm of talking Justice? talking about like uh, well, specifically, I'm referring to like our political program. Okay. You know, well, that, that, you've got that's these guys, always the case, though. It it is always the case. But it's 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 kind of like uh, like right now Donald Trump's got some sort of lawsuit out against Hillary for defamation and uh, of character. I mean, how long is that going to sit in courts before it gets it gets thrown out? It's it's the court. It's not going to work. Basically, what I'm getting at is that they got a plan, and it's not going to work. The Russians have a plan. They're sending in the shit, and it's not going to work. Not going to work. It's not going to work. And it, it, they're it's, getting their asses handed to them. It's embarrassing, and I, I I thought of all people of all countries, Russia would, would have Just probably rolled over it. They would That's have what they systematically thought. knocked them down like dominoes. They yeah. thought it would be over in forty eight hours. I bet. What they call that? They well, call it the domino you, theory. What do you think is their goal? I guess that, that, that's a good question. Are, well, are, the are goal they, are they going to take over? Yes. Ukraine. Well, they're the, trying to bring Ukraine back into the fold. Remember, yeah. Putin is wanting to rebuild the Soviet well, Union. Well, land-wise, they can do it, but people-wise, I don't know. That's the yeah, like at this point, the, the generations of and, Ukrainians and are, are, are going to fight them. are we going to let them get away with it? That's right. They've experienced freedom. We talked about this in right, Afghanistan. Right. So look, yeah. 20 years. We've been there 20 years. And then suddenly, we leave, and all the people that were babies 20 years ago are now 20-year-old adults and... They're being expected to live under Taliban rule when they have had they've they've tasted freedom. their entire life has yeah. been their entire life has t- they've tasted freedom. Right. Well, well, we'll see what happens with that. Well, well, I don't you know. know. But, but the thing U- about the Ukraine tal- is the same way. Is what my point is. It's it, well, but, even but the technology longer, is a little yeah, bit since, different since the eighties, right, or, or early nineties. Early nineties, yeah. yeah. So so Ukraine is like uh, any so European corrupt. country. It's modern, right? Right. Um, the they, kids they the dress largest, like our kids. Largest nuclear uh, power plant. Well, they right? also have Chernobyl. 
right? Yeah, so that's, that's where their that's claim at. to fame. And they also have 30 United States funded bio labs. But Chernobyl happened when it was still in Russia. I Maybe believe. no longer. Yes, mm-hmm. of course. No, no, no. Right. Well, I'm just look. This this thing pulls up. It it just stinks. It stinks. Yeah, yeah. You know, they, they were they were they, a well functioning country. They were well funded country uh, from the CIA from the West from the United States. From the West. I mean, we basically we funded that place. We allowed that place to make all the money that they're making. They were a major hub for energy distribution. You know, when it comes to the pipeline, you know, of getting fuel from Russia and getting it distributed all through Europe, Ukraine, we're making shitloads of money. That's why Hunter Bi- that's why uh, Joe Biden sent his son in there. There was an opportunity Burisma. for him to make money. Yeah, and, energy company, Burisma, you're right. Yeah, you know, and, you know, it, it, they negotiated and they were playing. Man, this thing is calculated. It's a chess game, and they're playing the long game, and we, we are not a part of it. And we have no idea what the hell they're doing. Well, think about it, guys. We, the Soviet Union was together for I don't know how long, right? It breaks up. Six years. I think it was six and a half. It could be. But the Soviet <laughs> Union breaks apart, right? <laughs> Just imagine this. The Soviet Union breaks apart. All of these countries are brand new countries. They're trying to figure out what they're going to do from a diplomatic uh, you know, government structure and all this kind of stuff. Ukraine is sitting on a gold mine of, of resources oh, and all this kind of stuff, huge. right? Right? So you can imagine they are in a position to be exploited by everyone. And externally and internally. But it's right? exploited, mostly been exploited, United exploited, States. Exploited, exploited. Yes. So then all these countries converge on the scene. They start to try to exploit these natural resources, natural gas. Uh, oil, uh, precious metals. I mean, right. You know what I mean? It, it's and then creating what a does hot Hillary bed. Clinton do? Hillary Clinton say, whoa, 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 Putin, don't, don't go to war yet. Putin, don't go to war yet. Right. Well, what are you going to do for me? I, I, I want to take the Ukraine back. Uh, Putin, don't go to war yet. Uh, um, how about if I give you 20% of our uh, uranium? Just to not invade uh, Ukraine. I tell you what, I will wait to the next presidency, and, uh, and I will wait. Oh, it's Trump. Okay, I'll wait for the next one. I'll wait. You sound like the guy from Star Wars. Still, it's back I'm not to the guy sure from what Star Wars. you sound like. I'm trying okay. to. <laughs> well, it, my my point the blue is, guy. is this yeah. is crooked. Yes, the guy that flies. The flies, yes. <laughs> Who owns Anakin? That's right. He <laughs> loads Anakin. That's exactly he owns what you him, sounded yes, like. The very oh. first Star Wars. Uh, Anakin, you <laughs> yes. <said>. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. That's what it was. <laughs> well, you were morphing into that. Yeah, like, it, it, was. Didn't start, it started out being. It was getting more and more. I was you like, kind of. It is about that. Yeah. He flies around. Anyway, so Anakin. Should... Oh, it does. It does. It does. hundred percent. That's crazy. Anyway, you're, I think you're, you're absolutely right. But my that's my point is that yes. how are we gonna look? I honestly, I I think that the United States were were so deep in Ukraine. Oh yeah. And I, I they're shitting bricks. To and I think I think one of the reasons why uh, Putin wants to go in there, he wants to cut the head off of the CIA. He wants he wants to go in there and expose what's going on, and that's why part of me is kind of like, take it. Wow, take, take Ukraine, take it. In All right, so, so 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 hold on. So I, get I, get I, inside I don't know the if mind. I'd legitimize extinguish his, his, uh, reasoning. But. Extinguish the the United States involvement in. Correct. In, in Ukraine. Well, and, is, uh, more, and, I'm more, and more United States, NATO as well, right? All right, so Absolutely. get, get yep. in the mind of Putin, right? Putin's upset that the Soviet Union got broken apart. He wants to put it back together. Ukraine is right there on the western on right. the western border of Russia. It's a border between him and NATO. Correct. Yeah, right. and, yeah. and the western nations and the western world is all through Ukraine. They're all in there, man. Yep. In their mix, and they're talking about NATO. They're talking about them joining NATO. Oh my god! I mean, CIA is all over there. They're like, this is the hotbed of like, you know, it's still the Cold War still going on, guys. There's it's still going on with there's Russia some deep and China. stuff going on, and and you can get away with literally murder. You can get away with anything. In Ukraine. Absolutely, and anything. So, and so Putin's like, this is my chance to like eliminate this threat. Ukraine is a threat to him, right? Because. They're being exploited well, by the West. But the, one of the and so he's big things that Putin was like, they were weak. extorting water from the Russians. So many things. Well, going what on. I don't understand is, in, in Putin's mind, NATO's not going to invade Russia. Who cares if NATO brushes up against right. next to Russia? 
It's not going to go any farther than that. Yeah, but just, you know, when, when freedom starts to grab hold, well, right? Western ideals start to grab hold. Ukraine starts to build up confidence. And, I mean, they're right there on the western border of Russia. Contractually, NATO not is good. supposed to be one for all and all for one uh, when it comes to uh, protecting uh, all the organizations within NATO. So the fact that we had a buffer in between Russia and Poland uh, Ukraine was there. Now, if Russia takes over Ukraine, there is no buffer. Right. Now it's just Russia. It, we're balls against balls, right up next to each other. Our junk Nut and their the butt. junk. Not the butt. <laughs> Our junk in the face of their junk. Oh, yeah. A little junk burn. I like that analogy. Yeah. Speaking it's a of, good analogy. A little junk burn. Speaking of lover boys coming up. <laughs> mm-hmm. oh, <my laughs> you, that makes you think of what junk the in the heck? junk. Good God. Uh, Hey, how many tickets do we have left? Uh, none now. Oh, uh, who who picked them? Who scooped them up? Rob. Rob's coming. Oh, fan. What? Oh, he's joining us. Yes. Okay. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Really? Oh, he's not it's not that kind of podcast. Yes. Right. Rob, a good right. deal. Glad. Yeah. I'm glad. So uh, we're, Sean, we're looking forward to it. Sean there's a, there's a free a room peach apparently bourbon. at uh, there's no free at room. Jack or <laughs> no free room. No, uh, it's we're driving up there and driving back. Uh, oh. I don't. Have we decided that conclusively? In in I the same so. evening? Yes. In the same know. evening, I may be driving a separate okay. car. Well, that, that's I'm probably a, a good choice. And, so I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna take a left turn. So tonight, when I was up in the attic looking for that device that you needed, right? So you t- found um, one of your old dildos. You were up in the attic. No, check oh. this. I was up in the attic looking for this. <laughs> oh, I opened up okay. the box that I found spin. it in. Had some cassettes in it. The destroyer. Yikes! And the cassettes From 1980s, were 1980s, so, 70s. So so I grew up overseas, right? So when I lived in Indonesia, we did not have any radio, no TV, no nothing. We went back to the state. <laughs> we went back to the United States, and then I would record on my cassettes the radio, like, and so I would take it back with me and listen to American radio on cassette tapes. Mm-hmm. Okay, you guys with me so far? So on, no? on your on your no. like little vacations you know, back to the yes. U.S. Yes. Yes. So, or what? Oh yeah, the whole summer we were back in the United States. Okay, and then you went back, and to then Indonesia. we were back to Indonesia, and you brought those with you. Brought the tapes with us. Wow. Okay. So check this. I found the tape. I found my tape deck. You're going to love this, Sean. I, I, tonight, I did this. Right before I came to broadcast, uh, podcast, I took my tape deck that I have sitting in my media room. I hooked it up to my media thing. It has not been touched in 30 years. So when you played it, it was like, nope. I'll be working for the week. Nope. And you so check it. this. <laughs> so check this. I popped the tape in, and it started playing. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe that the tape deck was even working. And I couldn't believe that the, that, that the tape was playing. And it was crystal clear and hey. it was the dj and talking about you know blah 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 it's here in denver it's denver blah 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 and what 95 121 denver it and was kpre is- denver blah 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 <laughs> and then the first song that was uh it was hot girls in love lover boy hmm. 1984 so that's what you said that text and that, and I that's... did. No, 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 no. Was, no, I sent that earlier. But anyway, but Hot Girls in Love was the was first thing I heard. And then the commercials came on. It was Datsun. Okay. There was a Datsun they commercial. Like Datsun. Okay. Gone. There's no, no Datsun. Right. There's Mazdas now, I believe. And they were touting. Was it Nissan? Check this. This is hilarious. 1984. They were touting only for a limited time 8.8% for not financing. 8.8%. On a house or a car? Only, no, for the, for the Datsun <sighs> truck. Mm, Isn't wow. that crazy? So I, guess, paint, I, I, guess, I guess post Carter, it hadn't come down yet, huh? At that point. 8.8. It had come down. It wasn't the 10. Double well, anyway, yeah, it, it probably it, came down some. Yep. For me, oh, it was, from Jimmy for me, Carter. It was, from Carter, yeah. For me, it was a time capsule. God, what a total time nugget. capsule. That's, that's pretty cool. And man. I just listened for like maybe four minutes and then I heard a, a Kodachrome commercial. Kodachrome. Kodachrome. I don't even know what that is. You mean like Paul Simon? Song, right? Paul that's Simon's song. song. Oh, that's Kodachrome. a great song. I love that. It's a yeah. great song, Kodachrome. Mm-hmm. That's it's a, a type of thirty five millimeter film, right? Mm-hmm. And it was a it was a you guys know the Kodachrome com- Kodachrome. It brings the nice bright colors. Brings the summers. World's a sunny day. Days, oh yeah. Nice. Look at you and I just killing it. Yeah, I actually I've heard that, but. I never really. Mama, don't take my Kodachrome. Of course, Mama, that was in the seventies that he recorded Mama, that. Mama, don't take but, my Kodachrome uh, away. Go ahead and play. Hey. Great song. Anyway, uh, good you story. Good story, Paul. Thanks. Yeah. That's well. 
<laughs> you know, this is a Kodachrome commercial. The picture is so sharp and so vivid. A picture is so sharp. sharp. Detail is etched clearly. You can see the vulva from here. Unforgettably. Yes. That's through her clothing. <laughs> and through the clothes. <laughs> the sharpest color slide film. Sharpest colors watch. of as you can see, especially skin. The sharper you want your memories. Look at those There's nipples. There's a little uh, ladybug on the flower. <laughs> Very nice. When's Bringing last, areolas to life. When's the last time you <laughs> bought a roll of film? <laughs> oh my! God. Never. Should we even? You never about bought a roll of film? Yeah, of course. Um, we, we actually have some that have not been developed. We have no uh, idea what's on them. Uh, how about oh, sending them? Sending them to these, uh, like development. Places I, I I can't remember where they used to develop. Well, you donate the film. them. You, you, you would you would send them there for a cheap price, and they would oh yeah send back the photos and all that. So like and I there'd said, be like a million copies all over the planet. Yeah, right? probably. But you get a little dick pic, and they'd be like, oh, oh yeah. really? Really? Like coming from you? Well, yeah. Well, you. Said, I don't send dick pics. Well, well back don't in, send them. But well, back you take in the, them. well, back in the day, oh, you'd have your course. camera. <laughs> you, you were shooting it. You have to oh, hand God, it over every to, day. That's all I do yeah, is take dick pics. And, 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 and the anywhere. teenager would be developing the film, and you know he made an extra copy when he came across <laughs> yeah. those. Yeah. yeah. Oh, right, because they would... Yeah, right, right. They would go look to the, yeah. Oh, I need to make an extra copy of these. Eckerds, right? Take yeah. you, never, you never Rite really aid. knew what was on the roll. You know, I mean, you might know some of it, but uh, not all of it. So, so, you, so you're I was curious. Like, like I said, I have 35 millimeter film that I have not developed. Can I send it somewhere? Yes. Oh, sure. Yeah, there'll, there'll be places I could do it. Yeah. Walgreens. You could have it digitized <laughs> no. if you wanted to. And... No way. What? You just they, they got a place. Walgreens. There's a place in France. <laughs> or, or Russia. And you have Ukraine. to, you have to it, manually it might be give in it to Ukraine them. Ukraine or it's Russia. In yeah. <laughs> no, you go to Walgreens. They still do that? Just, I mean, I guess so. No way. I don't think they do. Well, they can always do it. <sighs> they don't. Well, this got to be just mail it off. So, producer, how do you get 35 millimeter uh, processed? To film, yeah, film I wonder if Walgreens still does it. I don't know. But I swear to you, I have, I have it. And I'm like, you should drop it off, and a week later, you'd pick it up. That'd be crazy. Then, then, crazy, then, then, it started then getting, they have like one hour development. Yeah, then it started getting more competitive, right? Then it was, you know, pick it up in two days. <laughs> now then it was one hour. Well, CVS right? Photos makes processing film simple. No matter what type of film it requires development, there you, go. you can bring it to your local CVS photo location for processing. Services includes processing for 35 millimeter, but disposable and, uh, and other shit. Bullshit. There, there you go. And you 110. Now, processing. They didn't call it 110. They called it they'll, 110. They'll digitize uh, it. And... Yeah, 110, 120. 110. Come on. Whatever. 110. Yeah, he sounds so ignorant, doesn't he? (laughs) And you're a podcaster, for God's (laughs) sake. I I took (laughs) photography in high school, and and I used to develop my own pictures. Ooh, in your oh, dark look room? At you, in, Mr. In, in, in the, the dark, dark room, room with, the, yeah. with the juices and everything. Oh, wow. well, so what, are, these, you doing? what are, are you doing in your dark room with all yeah, the juices? Yeah, all these foyer <laughs> pictures. <laughs> these upskirt pictures. Yes. Uh, <laughs> 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 there there was a huge camera, and I was like, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> so hold on. Let me, I, it, Jeff's one of these guys that like developed like the, the, the best glue so you could put the mirrors on his shoes. Oh, <laughs> did nice. You, did you do some so of It was like the big 35 millimeter on there. Yes. You use some of the Bigfoot photos sounding too, or yeah, right. well, that wasn't you. <laughs> no, that wasn't me. No, no. Okay. but there's there's an art to it. I mean, it's not as easy because you have to get you the talking about taking right. the underskirt uh, pictures. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's not as easy as you think it <laughs> yeah, is, it's hard. Especially, especially when you have the big <laughs> camera on your foot trying to get oh, under there. Oh man, with the Paul, you better you better stop this soon. Right? Oh, I tried Aren't it you once. The moderator. Oh, I tried it. You once tried and under I got, the skirt. I got Will Smith right away. Boom. Oh God, smack. Well, oh, you might, yeah. st- uh, you might, uh, that might be, uh... well, let's talk about this. Uh-oh. All right. So first of all, uh, producer to prep us up, uh, pull up the Will Smith smack out. Uh, uh, you, yeah. You haven't seen it, Rob. You need to see it. So here's I'm the, not, I'm not sure I need uh, to see Chris it. Chris uh, Rock is hosting. With, what is the Will show? Will Smith and the Oscars. And the, uh, the Oscars. It's the Oscars. I don't need to see. So Will, uh, Chris Rock is hosting the Oscars. Real live drama played out on stage at the Oscars last night. Yeah, it started when comedian Chris Rock made a joke. And oh, they're it ended salivating, with aren't they? S- Take a look. Yeah. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? <laughs> <laughs> she rolled her eyes. She didn't like that at all. And, and, but it's but Will is laughing. That was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh oh. Richard. <laughs> oh. Joke the camera. 
cut to Pinkett Smith, who rolled her eyes. She was seated near Smith, who at first he laughed, laughed, then the jumped up and headed towards Rock. He, now, he was, after what looked like an open-handed slap, he went like, back to his oh, seat, Smith sternly screaming the shit out of me. at Rock and, twice and she looks to keep his wife's name out of his expletive mouth. Pinkett Smith has been open about her struggles with alopecia. That's an autoimmune disorder that leads to hair loss. She and Will Smith came to the Oscars with their children. Later in the show, Smith did return to the stage to accept the Oscar for Best Actor and in the movie King apologize. Richard. And at that point, he, he apologized to the Academy no, he didn't for his actions. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. And then Not on the Oscars. And then compared himself to Richard Williams, no, he, the father he, he, he tennis stars of Venus. To the, it says to the that place, he apologized. But... He didn't apologize. He needed to apologize to, to Chris Rock. I look like the crazy father, but love will make you do crazy things. No, I think uh, does. No. You, know, you know, he was I wrong. He he was out of line. Up. He was uh, unprofessional. He was it, it, he, he was, was a thug. <laughs> you talking about Chris Rock? Or? Uh, no, no, Will no. Smith. Chris Rock Will was Smith. doing his job. He's just a comedian, and Will Smith oh. just a comedians the, at, look, these, at, at these avenues. Take, it almost looked like it was staged, though, because Rick. It looks like it. It was his, not uh, his face out a little. Well, what's crazy about it is Will Smith I mean, was he, he laughing. Knew, he knew it was coming. I think. No, no I don't he think did so. Not. I don't think so. And then he Will was Smith shocked. was la- Will Smith was laughing at the joke. Will Smith well, is yeah, troubled. Right. And he was doing his normal. Look, ha, ha, ha. Will, Will Smith is troubled. He's got uh, he's got a relationship with his wife. Well, it's an that, open marriage. It, well, yeah, but it wasn't always that way. And it, it, I think it is now. Well, it is now, but it wasn't always that way. And it, it, it came to a point because it was pushed to that point. It like had, it had to be that way. It had nothing to do with Will. It had everything to do with her being a whore. Whoa. And I'll keep that on record. She is. I mean, she may be a woman and she may be deprived. But you know what? The bottom line is that if you're with a person, you're with a person. You're yeah. not going to be slobbing knobs. With, I mean, come on. Right? No, I understand that. You know, and, and, and the fact that she ex- she she came out and shared that she was cheating on Will Smith in front of the whole planet before Will Smith knew. Yeah, it's not good. Was fucked up. Yeah, Who is she is. cheating with? You said Tupac? It was, uh, Tupac I think Shakur. Tupac is one that she went out with. And she uh, one of the other ones I heard is that she was she banged like one of her son's friends. Oh. You know, and it's just like, you know, that's like a, a, a red tube video ready to roll. I mean, it, it, to the point where on on TikTok, uh, they are, there's, uh, well, just on some the social media period, there are so many memes uh, negative against her, you know, not right. in, in really kind of highlighting that, uh, that characteristic. This, this whole program is dysfunctional and I yeah. hate throwing stones at, at for, folks for like this, but you know, Will Smith, he's, he's extremely wealthy. He's been blessed with opportunity, but the bottom line is dude, man, you, yeah. you got to walk the walk and you got to talk the talk and you can't do that. You can't. can't. You can't go up there and strike somebody. You can't get physical. Y- you're he messed a, up big time. You're a he mentor did. to well, it, to children. It, you're. It, it says that he releases apology. Well, he did. Well, oh, he after get the in fact. trouble. On, oh, he on, knew. On he knew Instagram. he screwed up. On Instagram, the on Instagram the next day, he had posted something that apologized to Chris Rock specifically, but. Prior to that, he only apologized to the Golden Globes, whatever. What is the it? The Academy Awards. The Academy Awards. He only apologized to the the facility. He apologized for the facility to the group, and yeah. all uh, to the, the the folks that funded him for his role or whatever award he won. He didn't he didn't apologize for his actions, and his actions were the the biggest problem. He went out there. Who the fuck are you? He's telling a joke, right? You know, do you see Donald Trump going out there and bitch slapping people? Well, did do you, you see Joe, oh, Joe Biden? Well, did you see where they're equating Will Smith to, to Trump? Howard Stern did that. Howard Stern. Well, Howard Stern's a f- he's a freaking psychopath. Yeah. He really is. That's what happens he's when you get fool. fifty million dollars to yeah, get in a contract he, yeah. with Sirius. He is an insanely oh, rich, he's, he's dumbass so rich, fool. Yeah. He really is. Well, when, so, I, when I was listening to his comments, go ahead. What, what did he say? Well, no, no, I don't know what he said, but it, it wasn't just him. It was some uh, MSNBC hosts as well equating Will Smith to Donald Trump. Yeah, it's because of Donald Trump this happened. Yeah, because, kind of because of anything Donald goes Trump now or some bullshit like that. No. So I mean, sure. I, I was, you know what? I, I used to listen to Howard Stern, and I thought he was funny, and he, 
It he, was. Well, that's back when they, they had the... Uh, back in the they, 80s. The E, the E channel, when they had the butt bongos, you know, and they, they yeah, had all the hot funny. porno chicks but that would show the up he there and show you how he, far they could shove a, a sausage down their throat. Yeah, and he was funny <laughs> and he was witty and he, and he kind of he kind of made fun, made fun of everybody, you know, but, Robin but he made and, sense. But he made sense. Now he doesn't even make sense. Yeah, right, it, it, right. He's a he's a wower. He's it, one of those it's, guys it's chasing just all after sensationalism. Yeah. Well, he came yeah. out. He, his comments about people who refused to get vaccinated, and his comments about this whole uh, Will Smith event with equating it to Trump, he's just a fool. He is. Yeah, a very rich fool. Right. Yeah. That, Sorry. Yeah, that that brings in something pathetic. totally unrelated. Yeah, but, and there uh, you have it. Wow, that made us all kind of angry. Anyway, but it's you that's know what? enough about that. Yeah, no kidding. Well, but here's the thing: there there are still people that that uh, embraced uh, Will Smith uh, during the event, and and then deleted their their posts. Did they? Yes, one uh, of them was oh, yeah. that Presley, part of the squad, Ayala Presley, or whatever her name is. Oh, well. Yeah, she deleted her post. Because it started going sideways. She thought, oh, I'm going to be on this side. You know she's what? like, oh, it's how, going sideways. That, so I need the, to delete it. How cowardly the is The daughter that? of Elvis Presley? Uh, or? No, 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 no. No, but, oh, okay. but still, uh, how cowardly is it? I, I mean, here's I don't my, think here's it's cowardly. cowardly. If, you, if you're, if you're going to be ballsy enough to put something out there, stand up to the backlash. Well, Don't but, immediately delete it. But maybe Rock. it's the realization. Chris Rock can you could do the same thing to him. Right. Chris I mean, Rock. He, he stood there and he waited. Chris for Rock it. needs to sue Will Smith for for a ton of money, a ton of money. Yes, Chris Rock deserves kudos. Oh, he uh, kudos shows to the so moon. much restraint. Kudos much to restraint. the moon for for taking the high uh, road and for not retaliating and not making it into something that's not. Uh, it what he made it out to was Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. And moved on and started talking about the next topic. And he could have been so much worse. It could have been a brother fold, a full, a fallout. Can you, you know? imagine if they started scrapping on the stage? If he swung back. And then security people come running out and they separate them? Can you imagine? It's ridiculous. Well, that easily could have happened it, if Chris it, it, it Rock would, had not had been But a Will Smith is been... in a bad place. He's in a bad place, that and that's what bad. I was trying to, to, to elaborate a, a little bit, talking about his, his ex-wife and the open marriage and how it got there. Will Smith is in a bad place. He's got to be. He's He's got to be like, it, it, did you hear about uh, Chris Rock, what they found on his face? Found on his face? He went to the doctor, and do you, did they, what they found on his face. Afterwards, It's going to be a bad joke, isn't it? Well, little Fresh Prince. Oh, I knew it. What I say? I said it was going to be a joke. bad, bad joke. That's a dad joke. Oh, oh, come on, so French Prince. Bad. I watched that show religiously, man. It was good. Just French Prince. Stop. Uh, we should turn off your mic. It's funny. Good. I, I, I never watched it. I watched it. I, it. I watched it. They're actually coming out with a new <laughs> series. So bad. Where did you hear that? Like, I don't know. So it was on. If the, you came up one with it, I'd be I didn't come up with it myself. No. I heard. Yeah. Anyway, I think I, was, I think I was sleeping. Anyway, that was crazy. You know the funny thing? When have we ever cared about the Oscars or cared about exactly. the Academy? That's the, my, the irony, I thought this whole thing was rigged. That, that, that's the what it comes down is, to. Yeah. This is getting this Oscars has been talked about more than anyone any other Oscars. They they probably needed it because of this. Yeah, but we're still not going to watch it. No, hell no. In no, fact, the no, only reason I would watch uh, another Oscars, Golden Globes, whatever the fuck they are, if Chris Rock agrees is, uh, to fight him. is uh, Ricky Gervais. I, I love his candid. He was uh, yeah. awesome. I, I love the way he talked down to people, and I love the way uh, well, he calls Tom out their bullshit. Hanks, Tom Hanks looked when he was talking shit. Tom Hanks was like. I can't believe he's doing this. My white privilege is supposed to supersede all this shit, you know. But he, no, he was so awesome. He was like, he was. He, he, what, what do you say about like coming up and spew your political shit? Just yeah. fuck off. Yeah. Fuck so, off. Just say thank you. As, yeah. You have as much. Uh, you have a mu- as much education as that bitch from. Sweden. No, Greta Thunberg has more Gre- education than you. There you go. Awesome. Thunberg. Greta awesome. Thunberg, the she was what fifteen at the time or something like Dude, that. Yeah, he, she's fifteen when she got the Pulitzer Prize for trying to spread wisdom. He on. threw down so hard 
It was awesome. Oh, he says he, his, his excuse was like, "I don't care. I'm not coming back." If you if you haven't watched <laughs> the whole thing, if back. you haven't watched his whole monologue, you need to go back and watch it. That's good. He, he, he tears the really show for the Golden Globes. He did it two years. Really, really good. He did well, it two who, years. Who used to was it uh, Billy Austin, Crystal? So Ricky Gervais, if you're that not hosted already. that for years. That was the oh, Oscar. Yeah. Billy Crystal. No, did. Rick, Billy Crystal did the Oscars. Oh, did he? Yeah, which the, is what this was. Right? Golden no, Globes. This, this, was. this was the Oscars. Uh, Ricky yeah. Gervais does Our. did the Golden Globes. They won't. I don't think they'll invite him. No back. way. Well, they. I'm may surprised he hasn't do, been killed. He, uh, well, the thing is, is that he got so much attention over oh, this. Did he I mean, ever. and this is not in the light of uh, uh, of uh, Will Smith, who are super negative. It's where he calls people out for being. Who they are and what they are. This is like the real shit. See if you can play a little clip of this. Hello and welcome to the 77th Annual Golden Globe Awards, live from the Beverly Hilton Hotel here in Los Angeles. I'm Ricky Gervais. Thank you. Um, You'll you'll be pleased to know this is the last time I'm hosting these awards, so I don't care anymore. Um, I'm joking. I never did. Um, (laughs) NBC clearly don't care either, fifth time. So, I mean, Kevin Hart was fired from the Oscars because of some offensive tweets. Hello. (laughs) Lucky for me, the Hollywood foreign press can barely speak English. And they've no idea what Twitter is. So I got Uh. offered this gig by fax. So let's go out with a bang. Let's have a laugh at your expense, shall we? Remember, they're just jokes. We're all going to die soon, and there's no sequel. So, yeah, remember that. Um, yeah, remember that. But you that. all look lovely, all doled up. You came here in your limos. I came here in a limo tonight, and the license plate was made by Felicity Huffman. So, <laughs> no. <laughs> Shush. It's, a, it's her daughter I feel sorry for, OK? That must be the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to her. And her dad was in Wild Hogs. So, <laughs> lots of big celebrities Squeal, here tonight. Squeal. I mean, legends, icons, yeah? This, Look, this so table good. alone. Uh, Al Pacino, Robert De Niro. But... Whatever. Shuck it. Yeah. Hey, listen to this. Baby Yoda. Uh, Baby Yoda. Oh, that's, Yoda. That's Joe Pesci, sorry. Um, <laughs> I love you, man. Don't have me whacked. Um, but tonight isn't just about the people in front of the camera. In this room are some of the most important TV and film executives in the world. People from every background, but they all have one thing in common. They're all terrified of Ronan Farrow. (laughs) He's coming for you. He's coming for you. Look, talking of all you perverts... They're all so uncomfortable. Yes. Yeah. Talking about you perverts. It was a big year for paedophile movies. Um, Surviving R. Kelly, Leaving Neverland, Two Popes. Oh, my God. (laughs) Shut up. Shut up. I don't care. I don't he care. He doesn't like it at all. Right. Many talented people of colour were snubbed in major categories. Um, unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about that. The Hollywood foreign press are all very, very racist. So, <laughs> fifth time. So, <laughs> we were going to do my. an in memoriam this year, but when I saw the list of people that had died, it wasn't diverse enough. It just, no. <laughs> it was mostly white people. And I thought, nah, not on my watch. So, people are afraid to laugh because they know the camera's next year. on them. Let's, let's see what happens. No one cares about movies anymore. No one goes to the cinema. No one really watches network TV. Everyone's watching Netflix. This show should just be me coming out going, well done, Netflix, you win everything. Good night. But no, no, we've got to drag it out for three hours. You could binge watch the entire first season of Afterlife instead of watching this show. That, that's a show about a man who wants to kill himself because his wife dies of cancer. And it's still more fun than this, OK? Shelley has watched it. It's so Spoiler painful. alert, um, season two she is on it. the way. So, so in the painful. end, he obviously didn't I've kill seen. himself. It's good. Just like Jeffrey Epstein. Oh. Oh. Shut up. Oh. I know he's your friend, but I don't care. Yeah, wow. You had to make your own <laughs> way here, in your own plane, didn't you? Right, but m- seriously, most films are awful, lazy, remakes, sequels. I've heard a rumour that there might be a sequel to Sophie's Choice. I mean, that would just be Meryl Streep going, well, it's got to be this one, then. Uh, yeah. 
all the best actors have jumped to Netflix and HBO, you know. And the actors who just do Hollywood movies now do God. fantasy adventure nonsense. They wear masks and capes and really tight I, I costumes. Could, 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 Their job like isn't acting right. anymore. No, no. Do we want to play this whole the thing? One more I do, session. I really One do. More session. Really? Have we, got a, have we got an award for most ripped junkie? No. No point. I we know we'd seen win the that. Whole thing. Um, Martin Scorsese, the greatest living director, made the news for his controversial comments about the Marvel franchise. He said they're not real cinema, and uh, they remind him of theme parks. I agree. Well, well, Although I don't know what he's doing there, hanging right? around theme he's parks. Got a, he's, he's got, got a big beer. He's got, got a beer. That's what it looks like. It's tiny. Uh, uh, right. The Irishman was amazing. Was it was it amazing? amazing? Um, no. Look, yeah, I, I, I was watch disappointed. It. My, 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 plus, it's like it's extra great. long. Uh, it was bullshit. I thought it, I was horribly disappointed, long, but I hate him. But amazing. Yeah. Um, well, so, it wasn't the only epic there. movie. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, nearly three hours long. Leonardo DiCaprio attended bad. the premiere, and by the end, his date was too old for him. So. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. So, Even Prince Bay Andrew's like, is... come on, Leo, mate, you know. You're nearly 50, son. Um, so, I mean, that's the right. World I mean, Will Smith would have got a slap in there, right? Pussy. He just said pussy. Yes, he did. He was also in the movie Cats, but no one saw that. Um, and the reviews are oh, oh, shocking. I saw one that said, this is the worst thing to happen to cats since dogs, right? <laughs> But Dame Judi Dench defended the film, saying it was the role she was born to play, because she... I can't do this next joke. <laughs> <laughs> because she loves nothing better than plonking herself down on the carpet, lifting her leg, and licking her... Yikes. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Furball. Furball. She's old school. Um, <laughs> it's the last time, who cares? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Apple roared into the, the TV game with a morning show. A superb drama, yeah. Right. It's amazing. This will be a the last one. A superb drama about game. the importance of dignity and doing the right thing, made by a company that runs sweatshops in China. So, well, you say you won't, but the companies you work for, I mean, unbelievable. Apple, Amazon, Disney. If ISIS started a streaming service, oh you'd call your agent, wouldn't you? So, if you do win an award tonight, <laughs> don't use it as a, a platform to make a political speech, right? You're in no position to lecture the public about anything. You know nothing about the real world. Most of you spent less time in school than Greta Thunberg. So, if you win, right... Come up, accept your little award, thank your agent and your god, and... And fuck so, off. It's pretty sad. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, yeah. awesome. It's already three That's hours awesome. long. Look at, look at Tom yeah, Hanks. I love it, man. Yeah, yeah, Just the look at Tom Hanks' face right the there says award. it all. The first award... <laughs> the first award is for best actor in a that television series, musical or comedy. God. To present the awards right, so of a couple of actors off the telly. What can the I deal say? with uh, Ricky Gervais, I, I would love to see him on uh, some more stuff, man. I, I want him to start uh, praising more of uh, Chris Rock stuff. You know, being the, I mean, we're, I mean, that's exactly what Chris Rock was trying to do. He was trying to be offensive. Trying to be funny and offensive. He was trying to be offen uh, uh, funny. I mean, look, uh, I mean, it's sad. It's un. Uh, it sucks that Will Smith got upset about it. And it's, oh, well, he's it, devastated. He really is. It sucks that uh, Jada, what's her freaking name? Jada. Jada. <laughs> Excuse me. It's, it sucks that Jada uh, was offended by it because he prefaced the whole joke with, you know, you're beautiful, I love you. And look, the, he meant no ill will. No, he's a comedian. He, he meant no ill will, and he prefaced the whole thing. And uh, and Will Smith freaking laughed over the whole thing. And, but and, this until, is the world we live in. He got up off his seat it, well, and it, walked it, up onto the stage yeah. and hit him. Well, because he felt he could. Because, because he felt he, he could. Be, yeah. Because of Trump. <laughs> right. Whatever. Has Trump done that? No. When has Trump smacked someone? Now, if Trump would have got there, he was, what, 6'4"? 
Well, getting WWF, up there and smacked him in the WWF. He's he he's been in the ring with a few uh, wrestlers. Well, that was a long time ago, right? Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen some of those videos? No. Of uh, of him beating up some of the wrestlers. Oh, I think I have. It's bad. <laughs> oh my god, it's it's actually bad. kind of look, funny. Look man. where it stuck. Tom Hanks. Mm-hmm. That look. From yeah, Tom but Hanks. that but that's crystal clear, and that's like that's white privilege. <laughs> Be quiet. Uh, no, 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 it's no, no. not white privilege. It's celebrity privilege. But, celebrity privilege. Okay, look. Because Will it, Smith just walked up on a stage and hit. Here's the, the misconception about white privilege. It has nothing to do with about being a honky. It has nothing to do. It with has race. everything to do about status. Yeah, status and privilege and, 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 and celebrity. And that's what Tom Hanks has. He has status, and that's why he's able to do that. And. And, and, and be able to be respected. That's why Will Smith was able to get up out of his seat and walk up on stage because I'm the authority on life. Yeah. And you I, disrespected my yeah, wife. You know, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna put you down. You know I I'm doing what's right. You know it's wrong. And he should have been scooped up by the police. He should have been arrested. And he, it, it should be in due process. And his ass needs to be in jail. He's imagine? a mentor for kids. Well, they're looking at charges. The L.A. They're uh, not. PD. No, they are not. They're not. No, I read the article. They're looking at it. The they, they're they are looking at it. And you're right. Will yeah. they do anything? No. That's another no. Thing. No. No. They they're won't. not going to do shit because but, no one's going to press charges. But, but the bottom line is that he is responsible for breaking the law. Well, they said they, they don't need Chris Rock to press charges. They don't. No, they don't. It's, it's the charge people. Him. It's the like people many, versus Will right. Smith. And you know what? It, there's been multiple cases where like uh, abused wives, right? Right. Battered so that's wives. where they use it. Yep. Yeah, battered wives are like, no, 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 I don't press any charges, and but she's all beat up, and so they're like, we don't care if you're going to press it or not. We're going to arrest him. Yeah. We right? have a, we have it on video. Well, or, or uh, we just twenty. We, 20 uh, oh, I'm sorry. Ha, uh, a billion people have seen this video of you slapping. I mean, there's no way around it. He should be in jail. I'm wondering if he this should is, pay through his ass. I'm wondering if this is going to impact his career at all. No, probably not. He'll no. probably get his dick bronzed. Wow. You know, there was a groupie back in the '70s who did that. Plaster casted the uh, dicks of rock stars. We've Jesus done Christ, a podcast man. on this. Oh, we did. We did. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Hold on. So, okay. I, I'm trying to get the visual on my head. So, <laughs> no, no, don't. Because now that you mention it, I recall the 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 videos. Oh, vi- we talked about it now. in detail, and we pulled up video. <laughs> So that, was horrend- that was horrendous. That was it. Was some? Cat- it was some lame. It was some affecting. lame whore that would like ah. date all uh, the rock stars. Uh, rock stars, and they she would. She would take their junk and <laughs> put it in, and they would cast a mold from it. And and they let her, or yes, yeah, they yeah, let they her do it. They're yep. proud of the junk. I think Rod Stewart. Wow. Uh, big names, big names did it. So she has all big, these. big names, small. <laughs> big small names. Well, there were there were there were huh? pics up there of the of the cast, so you could see what. Should we should we go back to our sponsor? Uh... A river set? potential <laughs> sponsor. <laughs> uh, well, we after what we've up. covered tonight, probably uh, not. I, I tell you what, I, I've I've reached a threshold, and in, in, uh, and this is a this this is a big deal for me. So what I'm about to share is well, more than roofs and everything. Okay, this is huge. Okay. All right, I am. Yes. Gay. <laughs> no. <laughs> Trans. No. no. I I am. Those are two big ones. That a I woman. Can think of. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna get you're rid a of lesbian my, swimmer. Uh, I'm gonna get bladders. rid of my Android and no? get an Apple. Okay. What? Oh, okay. Whoa. There you go. You're getting an Apple phone. I, I think I'm gonna get an Apple phone. Why? What happened? Better deal? <sighs> no, it has nothing to do with deal. It Actually, has, now they are cheaper than freaking Android. It has everything <laughs> to do with uh, just access to compliance. Um, just HIPAA compliance and all that. It and just government. Uh, well, the one thing is Apple works better with things because they build stuff to work for Apple. Because Apple has one platform, whereas Android has 50. open like open source. Yeah, it's open source. So there's one standard. So everyone, all these manufacturers can build support for Apple much easier than they can for. Android. Well, hold on. I want to hear your rationale. Well, that, what, yeah, what, that, that might not what, be his what rationale. Didn't you like, what well, didn't you like it, about Android? Well, look, it's it's not so much Android. It has everything to do with what Jeff just said. Right. It's just that, you know, a lot of the... Life is easier with an Apple. Uh, well, it is. 
when you have uh, the technology at the house, and uh-huh. that's you know I I'm trying to you know I always share, you know it, it's all about the quality of life, and if you have like some home automation stuff that you want to to work, it's just it's just easier with Apple. Gotcha. Bottom line. Now there was a time where. Uh, I I did I I am doing Android now, but there's a time where I thought I felt Android was better simply because I had a bunch of hacking programs on my Android because I did a lot of uh, home theater home automation install as right. my job. Right. So uh, I had different programs that would uh, go into different networks and infiltrate and locate uh, or. Uh, diagnose all the IP addresses and just do a bunch of stuff. Right. And you cannot do that with an Apple. No, no, it's you know? locked down. So I had I had a bunch of uh, stuff like that on my Android, which you can do. It's easy. You just download it and it's done. Right. Um but I don't need that stuff anymore. So it's just as much as uh I've been in bed with Android. And this is my first Apple and it- uh, the phone is a phone. It does the exact same thing. It just does it easier. A, a little differently. In my opinion. A little it is differently. definitely different. I mean. Once you get used to one, you get frustrated when you try to do right. it on the other. The, the, the app, outside of the ones you were just talking about, the unique ones, the app on there, there's an app on the Apple. Yes. It may look a little different, but it's the same app. Yes. That's just it. For like, for example, the machinery, the, the, the digital machine behind you, that soundboard, is an incredible piece of, of work. Uh, Android it has a completely different software package than Apple does. Apple says X32 Behringer. It's got all the little fun things on there. You can. It's easier to grab and control. Uh, Android looks like a DOS replication of it. Right. You know, it's just like, why am I being gypped? Right. <laughs> you know, and you get. Uh, but then you have uh, programs like Sonos, for example. Right. Where so not- uh, Sonos. Sor- <laughs> Soros? Uh, S- Soros. S O N O S. It's pronounced Sonos. So no, it's not. It's pronounced Sonos. It's so what just... is what is that where it's the same front and back? What is that called? It's in a peculium. I don't believe that's correct. A parallelogram. Um Rhombus? What is that where the word is the same front and back? Palladium. It's not rhombus. Pal- it's a parallelogram. Back to my chemistry no, no, no. Oh, but, uh, it's a paladin. Paladin. paladin Paladrome. Paladrome. There you go. I said paladin. No, you said palladium. Paladrome. I said paladin. Something like that, yeah. Is that okay, a hold on. The, the so old guy, my, my, paladin, my, my, that my died a number of years ago? Is that Sonos... Oh, uh, I have not heard of that. Sonos is, no. uh, wants you to use Android. Uh, Sonos is an Android-friendly... Um, huh. Uh, network because Sonos has like Apple not necessarily because well, there's more functionality on the Apple than there is on the on the Android. from the perspective that uh, Sonos works with Android as a repeater with Wi-Fi and Apple does not. But Apple also has other functions that Android does not. So there's there's some pros and cons. Correct. Vice versa. Uh, I would I would feel so. Is that right? The Palindrome or verse? Yep. <laughs> really, that's what you want to say. Backward or forward? That, that's what it all comes yeah, down Sinos, to. Yeah, Sinos is a palindrome. Yeah, uh, Mr. Producer. Soros okay. is not, but uh, Soros okay. is a palindrome. Palindrome. Right. Very nice. Still is. Yeah, but Apple. I made the I made the shift a couple years ago, two and a half years ago, from Android to Apple. And you know, would I go back to Android? Sure, if I uh, got the good deal and whatever. But I like the Apple. There's no I tell problem. you what, when you get used to one. It's very painful to work on the other. My wife has an LG or something, whatever Android, and I hate being on her phone. I hate it. Well, I don't. Yeah, I don't mind the Android. It and drives me nuts. When and it's really a convenience thing. Like like you were saying. I mean, it's. I know well, exactly. Well, once you're used to it, a yeah, certain format, yes, you know? Yes. Yeah, and now I, you I get like to my... a whole new level. You're automating stuff. You're like trying to make your bed vibrate. And yeah. your your water bed heat. Well, whatever these low voltage triggers, or whatever. Whatever. It is. It is. Yeah, whatever he does. Do they still make water beds? Yeah. Well, do they? Well, of Ooh. course. Yeah. Water my, beds are still a thing. My dad had a water yeah. bed. Your dad. So, my dad somebody. Yeah, I'll tell you somebody what. The big thing them. about water beds is that they were like, "Oh, the sex on water beds are fantastic." No, they're not. Yeah, you I get would the think... waves going the wrong way. No, no, the waves are always in the wrong way. <laughs> I, I would think the sex in a water bed would be horrible. 
Oh, it's horrible. Meaning, I mean, there's nothing. I mean, because here's the thing. Imagine you're on one side of the bed, and it's like when you when you thrust, you're creating a wave, right? All right. So when the it wave, comes back, you're like the wave has to go back. <laughs> uh, so by you the thrust time, in a, and twenty seconds later, you go flying. So by off the, the bed, time right. it goes back and forth, back and forth, you're like thrusting every like two and a half seconds. You're like thrust. Well, yeah, you, you have to time thrust. It. No, but. Come and on. Then, then, then you can you gotta get, get multiple the, ways you can get going. the extra thrust. You would have to you have a, well, a hold, hold on. I think Rob's got some waterbed experience that he's oh, trying to share. Well, go on. I guess you do also. Like I said, oh, it's, I it's definitely all, do. It's so, all in the timing so, of the waves. Oh, you know? okay. You, you can you take need, advantage of that. You need multiple waves. Oh. And for the women, it comes in multiple waves. You, you just have to time <laughs> it correct, right? That's For most. Well, I mean, it's well. Look, the the thing is, is that uh, well, the, hold on, time out. Has anybody here had a waterbed? I have. Yeah. Okay. Obviously, yeah. you have. You had yeah. a waterbed. Yeah. Okay. I was gonna say he's talking from experience. Waterbed? No, no, never. Big long, no for me. L- long time ago. You've never yeah. had a waterbed? I've never had a waterbed. No way. And I, I've had sex on waterbeds countless times. Oh, and, count, countless. Uh, Huh. Oh, countless times. Mm. If I wait, open wait, up my your, black book, would with your partner my consider bed? that? Rob, have you had sex on a, on a water bed? Yeah. And would you say it's not worth I, it? I don't know if I'd say countless times. No, I. I Does kinda, it matter? I, I kind of enjoyed Once it. He was successful. You were not. Yeah. Ho- hopefully, I, I my partner enjoy, did. But, uh, I, I didn't enjoy the <laughs> first <frustration. laughs> Hold on, hold on. Uh, he was successful. You were not. <laughs> well, that's fine. That, hold on. I want to focus on that as being <laughs> the, the, the next I, episode. Maybe. No, maybe. I, I'm thinking. His, maybe <laughs> we could focus an entire episode on his, that. Uh, his thrust count is a little off. <laughs> it's, it's maybe. I just well, think you, it, you know. I think at the end of every podcast, we should say what was the highlight of the night. <laughs> to me, that was it. Well, his thrust right, count right, right at the end. He huh? was successful, and you were not. I mean, you're, I you're, think it's as simple as you're right. I, I you're riding. Successful. You're riding I mean, the waves. You yeah, have to be on the crest the of the wave. wave. You know, He's a like, natural bed surfer. Well, maybe <laughs> you. Was. He, he was a scuba diver. I was a guy that had to forge my way. Ah. Well, anyway, I wouldn't know. I don't have a waterbed. I'm not one of those privileged rich people. Uh, it's uh, it's March. It's uh, it's spring. And um, the next time we talk to you guys, it's going to be the next time we talk, it's going to be April. It'll be exactly ta- tax time. Not insane. April. It'll be oh, the, hopefully it'll be we the, get some rain. It'll be the it's week of Lover Boy. We have no, we didn't talk about Lover Boy, oh, so Lover Lover Boy. Boy. we'll have to. April eighth is it? I'll be working for so, the Friday. Weekend. So the next podcast we're going to be is going to preclude. Yes, Lover Boy. Right. All right. Hey, Dude, I guess let's roll. Let's get out. I'm Sean. I'm Paul. I'm Jeff. Rob. See ya. See you guys. Adios.